Hello guys and welcome to MetaSpeedMatter. Many of you have been asking me what size disc brakes you need on your F21 series. Well, I'm going to try and help you. But before I do that, if any of you are interested in F20, F21 1 series, please subscribe to my channel, as not many of you who watch my channel are actually subscribed, which is quite funny. Also, if you like in-depth tours, I do them kind of videos too where I've got my camera and I'm filming the car in detail, telling you every single thing about it that I know, basically. Anyway, back to the car. My car is a F20 116i, a 2012 model, which means it's a pre-LCI. It's got an N13 engine, but my car is a, a Russian car. The front discs on my car are vented, and they are 284 by 22 millimeters while the rear discs of my car are solid, which are 290 by 11 millimeters. 11 millimeters does sound quite thin, doesn't it? Down below, I shall leave the part numbers from BMW for the disc brakes, and I shall also leave you a link of where to get the part numbers for your car, just by using your chassis number or VIN number. Before I forget, the website is called Real OEM, so it's R-E-A-L-O-E-M. Just in case you thought I said a W. Some of you though, may be extremely lucky and have the M Sports brakes, which are basically the ones that have the beautiful blue caliper with the letter M on the side. If you have those, you're very lucky. But with luckiness, if that's a real word, you will have to pay more for your disc brakes as they are bigger. The front M Sport discs are vented, and they are 340 by 30. Also with the M Sports brakes, you get vented rear brakes. They are 345 by 24. But there is also a third type of brakes, which are above the M Sports brakes, and you basically upgrade them in the Sports package, the M Sports package. These brakes are the same size as the normal M Sports brakes, but the difference is they have, I think they are drilled and dimpled and um, I think they have like slots in them, or you know what I mean. Basically it's not a smooth surface like my car or the normal M Sports. I'm sorry for not using the technical words. My brain just leaves my head sometimes. I don't know which side it comes out of, but yeah. I was going to say that my brakes for my car fit all um, 114Ds, 114Is, 116Ds, 116Is, 118D, I think it's called D, yeah. Anyway, but I was researching and apparently it depends also on where your car is built and all that kind of stuff. So I won't say that. So the best thing to do is actually go on the website real OEM and it's, an, it's a great website. It's basically like what they use at a dealership, but made for the internet, which is nothing to actually do with BMW as far as I know, but I like it. And it helped me, it helped me um, help the dealer, the parts guy, find the part for my car, because he couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to show you this website, so I can't go into too much detail, but what you need is um, the last seven digits from your VIN number and type it into the system and that will bring up all the information about your car. Then basically after that, just follow the instructions, like look for the brakes and the discs and look at the diagrams. It's, it's very self-explanatory. Um, I think I've said that correct. And yeah, but if you find the system difficult to use, you can always send me your last seven digits of your VIN number to my email address, which is matsbeamer at mail.ru. Um, I will try and help you. But I can't guarantee you that even if I find the correct size, that I'm guaranteed to be correct. Because I could be wrong, the computer could be wrong, it's up to you. But to be honest, it's best to buy from a local parts store. So if they, if you get the wrong size, you can take it back and um, get, change the parts over, rather than using a big internet company or auction site, which may not even refund you the part, or may take you longer than necessary. I hope what I've said has made sense. Um, I will do my best to help you. 
yeah, so if you want to, it's up to you. Um, you can send your last seven digits to my email and I can search on this website for you. It won't take me long, probably about a few minutes, but um, there's a chance that I may not see your <laughs> your message. So uh, apologies, in the, apologies in advance. Anyway, thank you so much and take care and good luck. I hope this made sense and I hope it wasn't a load of twaddle. Take care, goodbye.